Hi dear ones! For today's reading lesson, we are going to be clarifying some vocabulary. That means I'm going to give you some words and you're going to think about what they mean. And then after that, you're going to draw a picture to show me what they mean. So the words that we're going to clarify today are some words from Funny Bones. They are staircase, cellar, skeleton, frighten, scratched and hid. My first word is the word staircase, so I'm really neatly going to write that down. Staircase. And then once I've written the word staircase, I'm going to think about what it means. I know that the word staircase means that I'm going up some steps in order to get somewhere that's higher or I might be going down some steps down a staircase to get somewhere that is lower down nearer to the ground but in funny bones I know that they go up the staircase to get outside when they take the dog for a walk so I'm going to clarify the word staircase using a picture and I know that what I'm going to draw is some steps and some people walking up them so really neatly I'm going to draw some steps that go upstairs and at the top I'm going to draw a door because I know that the funny bones go up the steps, up the staircase to get outside to take the dog for a walk and I'm going to draw a person just here walking up the steps like that. So now I've clarified the word staircase because I know that a staircase is lots of steps going either up or down, so I've drawn lots of steps going up to a door. Okay, my next word is the word cellar, so I'm going to choose a line and write the word cellar. Now, I know that the cellar is where the skeletons live, because it says that in the story, and in the story it also says down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. So I know that this is something to do with the staircase. And it says down. So this time I'm going to draw some steps going down, a little staircase going down. And a cellar, the reason why they go down the staircase to the cellar is because a cellar is an underground room. So down the steps, I'm going to draw a room and because it's underground I think it will be quite dark so I might do a little bit of shading because I think it will be a dark dark room because this cellar is actually underground and I'm going to draw a person in the underground room and there's going to be a table and maybe a TV on the wall and a pot plant on the floor so I've drawn a room with a little person in but they're in the cellar because they're in an underground room down some steps. And I also might draw the rest of the house up here to show that we go down to the cellar. The cellar is under the house. The next word is the word skeleton. I'm going to write it down here. And what I'd like you to do here once is think about what the word skeleton means. Use the story of funny bones to help you. And next to it, can you draw a picture of what a skeleton is to clarify what a skeleton is for me, please? Underneath that is the word frighten. I would like you to think about what the word frighten means and then draw your best picture of somebody being frightened next to it, please. The next word is the word scratched. I would like you to think about what the word scratched means, especially in the story of funny bones. So use the story of funny bones to help you think about what scratched means. What is the skeleton doing when he's scratched? When he scratched himself, what was he doing? And the final word is hid. I would also like you to clarify what the word hid means for me, please, by drawing a picture next to it. So I have done staircase and cellar for you. I've drawn a picture of what they mean. And your job today, year one, is to do staircase and cellar and then also have a go at clarifying skeleton, frighten, scratch.
scratched and hid. Show me what they mean by thinking about it first and then drawing a picture of what they mean one by one. And remember, you can use the story of Funny Bones to help you. You can either read it yourself or you can watch my video. See you tomorrow.